Isn't it interesting how when we have more definition around things and more clarity that it helps? Look. Okay. <laughs> Dog taking a dump in the background. <laughs> oh my heck. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love it. <coughs> I absolutely love it. That's so perfect. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys, Jen Anderson here, Chief Inspiration Officer with the Inspired Life Community. We strive to help working Christian moms have less chaos, less stress, and instead have so much more peace and joy in the journey. Today's um, video, I wanted to share with you some thoughts about how important it is to be clear about what it is that you want in your life. Because if you're not clear about what it is that you're looking for, if you don't have a clear understanding of what that is, then it's really hard for God to actually help us. And so um, that dog that was just um, taking a dump in the background picture <laughs> actually is an answer to prayer. And let me tell you why. So we as a family have been kicking around the idea of getting a dog. I should say my husband and I have been kicking around the idea of getting a dog. If it was up to our three-year-old, we would probably already have two dogs by now, a large one and a small one. And we would also have dog pads and dog beds and dog blankets and dog collars and dog toys and dog treats and dog food and all sorts of stuff. She's got it all sorts of mapped out in her cute little three-year-old mind as far as what it is that we need to have to have dogs and the dog of course to go with it we've been putting it off because um it's a it's extra work right it's when you add a fur baby to your life i've heard a lot of people say it's like adding another child oh here's fozzy come here fozzy come on let's let them see you come here come here oh he's so cute here he is oh he's this cute little 10 year old labradoodle and he is just he's so awesome he's actually a great dog um What's been interesting about having him here is that, um, we, like I said, we were thinking about we should totally get a, consider getting a dog and all this kind of stuff. And so um, what we have discovered is that it's really a lot of work and it's tough and there's a lot to deal with when it comes to a dog. And this is like a healthy dog. Like he's not even like hurt right now he has no medicine he's actually a really chill dog he totally just will lay there and my three-year-old will roll all over him and um and I think he's actually a really great dog the only thing I don't love about him is that he sheds and I don't like the dog hair shedding all over my house just ugh, just drives me nuts um and so if we were to get a dog I would get something that would be hypoallergenic you know I don't know something like just a regular poodle for example that has hair instead of the fur so it doesn't shed all over the place so, um, so anyhow, so I share that with you because one thing that we're realizing is that we don't want a dog and we had been totally considering this before, but now for sure we know, no, we don't want a dog. And as much as my little three-year-old wants a dog, she's not getting a dog anytime soon. And definitely not until she is more mature and can handle what it's going to take to take care of a dog. And so, um, so the lesson in all of this is that if you're not clear about what you really want, look for opportunities to get that clarity. So we weren't totally sure as to whether or not we wanted to have a dog. My husband and I both grew up with dogs and we loved dogs, but we also weren't the parents at the time. We didn't know what it took to really fully take care of a dog with having children in the household. And so um, when my husband's coworker was planning to go out of town for a week to another state, she needed somebody to watch this dog. And my husband's like, totally, we can help out with this. This is fine. And it's been really, really good for us because it's been a great le learning lesson uh, and um, recognizing, yeah, we don't, we don't want to do this. And it'll be fine. We're, gonna, we're on day two of eight, so it's going to be um, a little bit busy for the next week. But that's okay. We could, we could do that. But it's also giving us great clarity to know for sure, no, we're not getting a dog. We're not doing this full time. And so at least not at this time. And so, um, so look for how can you give yourself clarity so then it'll help you to make a decision because we had been wasting a lot of time. Um, we'd been kicking around the idea, been thinking about it, him and in Holland, we'd been looking at dogs online and thinking about it, you know, because 
getting dogs that are, have hypoallergenic hair and stuff like that. They're more expensive breeds. You know, so like all those little pieces and parts where now we can totally just set that aside and be done and check off the little to-do list and be like, nope, no dog for right now. So little Fozzie Bear has been our great dog friend. Here, Fozzie, show them everybody your cute face. Oh, he's been great to help us with understanding and knowing that in fact, we don't want a dog right now. So take those opportunities, learn for yourself, and um, get yourself some clarity around those key things that you want to have in your life. And you can free yourself up to focus on the things that uh, you are ready to move forward on. All right, my friends, remember always that God has a message for you. Pay attention and recognize how he's answering those questions that you have. Like we, for us, we've been praying about it, and then all of a sudden he had a coworker who was going out of town and needed somebody to watch a dog, and so it was a wonderful answer to our prayer so that we can make a decision and recognize for yourself. No dog needed right now. Not in our family, not full time. All right, my friends, take care. We'll see you again. Bye.